Today we'll see how to use functions in embedded C program. Let's look at the syntax of functions, return type, function name, set of inputs or arguments, and then we have body of function. Advantages of functions in embedded C, a big code is always difficult to read. For example, this is a program for LCD interfacing. So if you look at the length of this program, it consists of around 30 to 35 instructions. Now there are codes which consist of thousands and thousands of lines. So such a big codes are always difficult to read. Breaking the code into smaller functions keeps the code organized and easy to understand. So functions enhances the readability of a code. Once written, functions can be called any number of times from any place in a code. And functions can be reused any number of times in a code. There are two types of function in embedded C, library functions and user defined functions. Library functions are the functions which are declared in C header files such as scanf, printf, gets, puts, etc. User defined functions are the functions which are created by the programmer so that the programmer can use it many times in the program. In this embedded program, the user or programmer has created five different functions. So these all functions are user defined functions. There are three aspects of a function. Function declaration. A function must be declared globally in a program. Usually the function is declared outside the main function. Function call. Function can be called from anywhere in the program. And third aspect of function is function definition. It contains the instructions which are to be executed. There are four aspects of function calling. Function without arguments and without written value. Function without arguments and with written value. Function with arguments and without written value. And last, function with arguments and with written value. Now let us try to understand what is function declaration and function without arguments and without written value. In the given program, there are two functions, print name and main. Here, the print name is a user defined function. Now this part of program is called function declaration. We have declared the function print name and the declaration is a global declaration. It is outside the main function. Inside the main, we have called the function print name. So this is called function calling. And this part of program is called function definition. So in the function definition, we have used a library function printf. Now if you look at the print name function declaration, you can see that inside the parenthesis, we have not written any input arguments. So this is a function declaration without arguments. If you look at the function definition, you can see that the function is not returning any value. So return type of function is wide. So this is function without arguments and without written value. And you can also see the three aspects of function that is function declaration, which is outside the main function, then function call and function definition. The function definition is always outside the main function. The beauty of the function is you can call the function n number of times in a given program.